I have a really simple task for you. Make me some scrambled eggs. Well, that's not complicated. Easy peasy. I'm gonna make a real gourmet dish. Hey, Grandma, stop sleeping. The challenge has already started. We need to make scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs? Why, thank you, young lady. Well, it's time to start. I'll need that oil too, Mary. Sure. You can't have scrambled eggs without oil, right? Hey, why isn't it pouring? Stupid bottle. I didn't need to get that much oil. Oops. Ted, now you take an egg. Which you'll break into the frying pan. It's very simple. Yeah! Nothing could be easier. Here we go! And one more! Well, that was almost right. These guys are useless. I can definitely beat them. Cooking's my thing. Scrambled eggs are so easy too. But I'm gonna make these a little more fun. First, I'm gonna separate the yolk from the whites. Then, I'm gonna mix up the whites until they become nice and foamy. Why is she doing all that? I have no idea. Turned out great! Now, let's mix up the yolks. And pour them right into the pan. Here they go! Those are some weird scrambled eggs. Why'd you separate them? Because this makes the eggs a lot more fancier. Just look how fancy my dish looks now. Very. But I think all you need is salt and pepper to give scrambled eggs a little extra kick. <laughs> ah! Ted! What's wrong? It's so hot! Why is it hissing like that? What's happening? Help! I think my scrambled egg wants to kill me! Maybe it's because you should have turned the stove off a long time ago? You burnt them all. Oh no! That's not what was supposed to happen. Well, maybe I can make it taste better with some whipped cream. Whipped cream goes good on everything, right? Okay, I'm ready. I have everything ready too. Wow. Mary, you did something really unusual. Do you mind if I touch it? Hands off! This is a real delicacy. All right, Kate, it's your choice. I don't even know where to start. What's this black scrambled egg thing with white on top? I can't even cut it. Mmm, but these fried eggs with the gooey center look so appetizing. Just gotta try it. Delicious! This is exactly what I wanted. I wonder what this is. It looks really strange. It tastes really good. But still, I like plain old ordinary scrambled eggs the best. Yeah! Grandma, you won! Love ya! Grandma won! <laughs> Grandma beat them all! In this round, you're gonna need to try to make me a delicious burger. Easy peasy. Oh, I don't know anything about burgers. I love burgers! I might end up eating this myself. It's time to start cooking. It's time for me to win. Hey, that's my tomato! You can't just take it away. My granddaughter's not gonna get just a delicious burger, but also a very healthy burger. Tomato, onions, cucumber. 
I won't need any of that meat. You know it's really bad for you. No worse than your cooking. The main thing is to cook with love. Then my healthy burger won't just be healthy. But also delicious. <laughs> this is what I mean by healthy eating. None of your junk food. Even ghosts on a farm don't eat that much grass. I can't believe you're gonna give that to your granddaughter. What's a burger without an actual burger? It's the most important part. Then all you need is some cheese and sauce. I'm already drooling. Ah, stupid onion. Who came up with the idea to put this on burgers anyways? Oh, come on. I can't cook anything. Don't be upset. Here, have a piece of chocolate. A chocolate bar. That's it. That's such a great idea. Why cook a regular burger when I can make it sweet and chocolatey? This is gonna turn out so cool. Just a little more chocolate left. Ooh. Wow, this is gonna be the coolest chocolate burger you've ever seen. And the cherry on top of the cake is gonna be this chocolate syrup. Makes my burger look amazing. Wow, I've never seen a chocolate burger before. I think it's gonna be really tasty. Mmm, this is amazing. Let's see what'll happen next. Hey, where's the patty? What am I? Some goat on a farm? It tastes too healthy. Burgers like this don't put me in a very good mood. Whoa, but this third one's a real contender. This burger looks way cooler. Mmm, yummy. Just the thing for a perfect lunch. Which burger should I choose? The sweet one? Or the hearty one? No, after all, I like sweet more. It's way more original. Yeah! Woohoo! I won! Egg cake. Yes, easily. During my career, I have baked as many cakes as you will ever eat. First, you need to cut the cakes properly. More precisely, you need to make an even hole in them. Then, I'll just need to glue the resulting cakes with whipped cream. Just look at it. How delicious. And now, layer after layer. Inside, I'll hide a gift that Kate will definitely be absolutely delighted with. I think it will give me a victory. The main thing is to hide my surprise well. It is best to do this behind the layers of whipped cream. You need to remember to smooth out so the cake looks so smooth. Just look at it, what a beauty. The only thing left is to decorate the cake with M&M's candies. So it will become even more beautiful and of course tastier. My granddaughter won't buy such cheap tricks as a new smartphone and a cake. She just wants a beautiful and delicious cake for her birthday. That's what I'll do for her. First, you need to knead the dough. I think everyone knows this recipe. If not, then watch my hands carefully. Yeah, perfect. Then you need to add a little cocoa. Oh. So our future cake will be a pleasant chocolate flavor. Oh, and the color is chocolate too. Look, Zach, have you ever seen such chocolate dough? I haven't either. It's really cool. Now the cake needs to be baked. However, first you need to get rid of the dough on your hands. 
Grandma came up with a great idea. Kate really loves chocolate. Why don't I make her a cake out of all the chocolate bars she loves so much? It's kind of simple. Just put it all in the pan. It's kind of too easy. Yeah, too easy. Well, it's time for the oven. Hey, wait for me! Zach, this is the oven. We'll put our cakes inside. How does it work? I think I got it. Ah, go away. I'll do it myself. Look, you would have set the highest temperature. You don't want to ruin the oven with your clumsy gestures, do you? ta -da! The cakes are ready. Just look at how pretty it is. And what a fragrance. Kate will definitely not resist this. Whoa, I also got something very pretty. Huh, cool. But, however, I would leave it in the oven for a while longer. Yeah, to make the cake cook faster, I will still increase the degrees. Grandma is no longer around anyway. My cake is ready. I hope my granddaughter will be happy with such a gift from me. It turned out to be a cake cupcake. Of course, first we must pour some water. Take some milka. Put it in the glass. And wait until it melts. Now, I'll just open the package and pour the melted chocolate on my cake. And of course, don't forget about delicious sprinkles. Yeah, right there, faster, come on! Oh, I completely forgot about the cake! I hope it's all right. Oh, what a horror. I think I went a little overboard after all. Uh, I hope I come up with something after all. Damn. Everyone has such beautiful cakes, but I only have this, oh, terrible thing. That's right. I just had a great idea. It is necessary to embellish the cake. And its disadvantages will not be obvious. Oh, it's pointless, I lost! Don't cry. Kate, it's time to choose whose cake is better. Wow, of course you all tried very hard, except for Zach. What is this overcooked piece of chocolate? Is that chocolate crust? Did he cook it on bonfire? Ugh, fine, I'll try it. <gasps> Ew! Terrible! Let's move on, Grandma. Your cupcake looks very beautiful. Let's see, is it as delicious as usual? Or even better? Mmm, this is the taste. I love your cupcakes, Grandma. The only thing left is to find out what Chef Tina has prepared. Surely her cake is also very nice. Oh yeah, and really, it's very tasty. Wait, what's inside? Interesting. Wow, surprise! It's a brand new iPhone! Tina, I couldn't even dream of this! Imagine now what cool pictures I can take! And what other functions are there! Oh, for sure, there are a whole bunch of cool games there! Tina, this is really cool! Thank you so much! Of course, after the work you've done, you're the one who wins! I knew I would win. My talent is evitable. Prepare a sandwich for me this time. I want to have lunch. Hooray, I can do that. Easy as pie. Easy. Kate, do you remember how many of these sandwiches I made for you before? You even took them to school. Of course, among all the sandwiches, you will choose the ones your beloved grandma cooked. According to tradition, I will put bread in the toaster. After that, it will be not hot or much more delicious. Zach, can you please help me open it? No problem. Wow, it's peanut butter. It's so delicious. Can I try? Mmm, so good. Zach, what are you doing? It's for my sandwich. Ah, oh, fine. I won't be able to take peanut butter from you. I'll have to cook something more useful for Kate. For example, why not make a vegetable sandwich? I think she will really like this one. It will contain cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce. In general, all the most healthy things. Yeah, but not tasty at all. Okay, don't worry. This time, I'll make you the most delicious sandwich. By the way, it's not very difficult to do it. First, you need to grate some cheese. 
show me a person who doesn't like cheese, right? There are simply no such people. So this is a universal way to treat anyone. Now a little magic. Cheese needs to be tinted with food paint. It will be very beautiful. But that's not all. Now we have to paint each cheese plate in different colors. Next, you need to cut out hearts from pieces of bread. This way, pieces will be not only delicious, but also cute and beautiful. Put the cheese on the bread in a rainbow order. Now it's time to bake these sandwiches. Wow, even I would try this. Of course, because I'm a master of my craft. The resulting hearts are laid on a cabbage leaf. Everything is ready. I'm almost done too. Okay, I agree with Tina. Healthy sandwiches aren't very tasty, so I'll have to add some ham. And I'll also allow myself to add a little ketchup. That's better. So good. Oh, right! Sandwiches! Everyone has already prepared everything. And I just got carried away with this peanut butter. Ugh, oh, the one who has to save me. This paste is just so delicious that combining it with bread resulting sandwich will be not equal. But I'll add some banana too. That's right. So more appetizing Christ appears in the bread. I'll just carterize it a little. With iron? Why not? Granny, look what I've come up with. Interesting, but where does the burnt stink come from? Zach, it's all your iron! Oh no! How sloppy I am! I burnt my dish again! Ugh. Zach, you need to pay attention. I still have a chance. I don't even know where to start. Everything looks so delicious. Zach, did you overdo it on fire again? What have you prepared for me? It's just impossible to eat. Disgusting. I could have tried a little longer. No, this abdomination is no good. Let's see how grandma surprises me. That's what I get. This is a sandwich. The most delicious sandwich I've ever tasted. I just need to try Tina's sandwich now. Whoa, so bright. And all the colors of rainbow. Inside. Whoa, cool. It's also incredibly delicious. I'm absolutely thrilled. But still, Grandma's sandwich seems to be more appetizing. I'm sorry, Tina. Hooray, finally I want to. Make a chocolate bear this time. I want a delicious teddy bear. Something new. I hope I can handle it. And I already have an idea. I'm going to need Oreo cookies to make it happen. First, you need to get rid of the cream between the cookies. Mmm, how delicious it is after all. Now you need to crumble the cookies. The main thing is not to eat this yummy ahead of time. Next, I will need Nutella. Mmm, such a fragrance. I need to try it first. I need to mix it thoroughly with Oreo crumbs and get a sticky mess. Nutella? Hmm, it's a good idea. I will add some Nutella to my dough too, so it'll become more chocolate and therefore more delicious. Now I get to beat this dough well with a mixer. Oh, so long. Let's try mixer. That's better. Yeah, Grandma, you cooked the dough for a very long time. Mine is already ready. I pour some natural cocoa into it. I also want to make the dough chocolate. After all, the bear should be brown. Ooh, well, my chocolate mess of this Oreos and Nutella is ready. It was necessary to make teddy bear out of it. 
<laughs> Zach, you don't know how to sculpt at all. How to cook, too. Watch and learn. I have the pancake batter almost ready. It needs to be poured into a bottle so that the later it will be easier to squeeze it into a frying pan. Just look at how beautiful it turned out. These are really edible bears. Kate will be absolutely thrilled. I could also stick candy eyes on a bear. They can be tastier than your berries. It's all nonsense. The bear must be big. It needs to be baked. It is the best to do it with a burner. Whoa, what's the flame? I like it. Ooh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to make cookies, but I completely forgot that the dough swells. What have I done? Well, bad luck. How clumsy I am, how could I forget? Whoa, your bears are so cute. Except for that, Tina. It's kind of creepy. I hope it's at least delicious. Ugh, a nightmare. Is it even possible to crack it? How does it even exist? Apparently nothing. Well, let's see what grandma has prepared for me. These are teddy bear pancakes. How lovely. Yeah, they're wonderful. Mmm, good. Now let's see what Zach came up with. Oh, it's very cool. I didn't expect such a chocolate bear. Zach, congratulations, you're an obvious victory. Finally, how long have I been waiting for this? Hooray! I won! I won! I won! I'm happy for him.